I it, my eyesight was terrible. It was so bad, yeah. I put a lot of young children in the back of my car just, yeah. just to make sure that if I did crash... But you were really testing I, it. Because you know, yeah. caring for kids is yeah. my paramount, paramount consideration. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, is to make sure that, that to check my eyesight wasn't as bad as I feared, put the kids in the yeah. back. Because that's what you do, isn't it? Yeah. The unfortunate thing I thought about the press conference was while I think you could probably if you were generous, justify his breaking of the rules on the basis that he was providing care for a child in case both parents got ill. It was the subsequent follow-up explanation of that extra journey to Barnard Castle because he wasn't sure if he could drive properly, so he just did a 30-minute uh, round Why don't we trip. just call it what it is? Dominic Cummings <laughs> is a liar who broke rules. We know it. Everybody knows it. The BBC may shut down Emily Maitlis for saying it, but they're not going to shut us down from saying, or me, the guy broke every rule there is to break. Well, particularly on that trip to Barnard Castle. Sorry, on every part of this story. I was watching it going, I might, have I lost my mind? Just to remind you, I have a setup a bit like the Cummings. Down in Sussex, I share a nice house with my parents. Yeah. They have one half, I bought the other half. And then when my grandmother fell sick, I converted a, a garage into a little cottage. So I have a little outhouse that rather like he went to. Is I it, am still not allowed today. Is it concrete bricks? Like, uh, like it's, it's outhouse. It's Emily Maitlis for saying it, but they're not going to shut us down from saying, or me, the guy broke every rule there is to break. Well, particularly on that trip to Barnard Castle. Sorry, on every part of this story. I was watching it going, I might, have I lost my mind? Just to remind you, I have a setup a bit like with the complete support of the Prime Minister and every senior cabinet minister. He's, he's taken this country for a bunch of mugs. He's basically said, here are your rules, little people. You all obey them, but when it happens to me, I will go home to see my sick wife who's got COVID symptoms, then I'll go back to work, breaking one rule, then I'll go back and pick up my wife and kid and drive 250 miles to my second home, breaking, breaking another rule, letter or spirit, whatever you want to call it, then in the middle of the time when both me and my wife have what we think is COVID, driving our son to an NHS hospital with COVID in the car, in other words, him and his wife, which breaks another rule, which most of us would not have been doing. Then he goes on a jolly on his wife's birthday to a castle, and then he has the brass neck to lie about it and pretend it's got something to do with his dodgy eyesight and says, my eyesight was playing up a bit. I couldn't really see properly, so I put my four-year-old kid in the back, the one that I did all this to care for, and I, I did it to test my eyesight. He's taking us for mugs and he's got the full support of the prime minister and of all the senior cabinet all of whom have been standing at that podium day after day saying stay at home protect the nhs save lives dominic cummings didn't stay at home he didn't protect the nhs and he's probably with all the scenes we're now seeing of the lockdown collapsing single-handedly ending the lockdown and will cost a lot of lives and i can't think of a more serious situation than that and yet there he is not even apologizing not acknowledging he made a single mistake or did anything wrong and i'm sorry i think it's a total disgrace now you tell me this is almost single-handedly done mm -hmm. is he's destroyed the lockdown but by doing what he did refusing to even apologize refusing to admit that anything he did was wrong even though none of us could do what he did at the time that he did it by doing that, he has destroyed the lockdown. He's destroyed trust in the government. Boris Johnson still stands by him, inexplicably. 
Uh, God knows what Cummings has on Boris Johnson. Because if, it must if be bad. the person who helped set the rules can break the rules, why should anyone else stick to the rules? Why that should we? Why, why should I not go and stay in my little cottage, mm. my, sec my second home? Why shouldn't I pull a Cummings? Is what I'm thinking. I haven't, because actually I don't want to do anything that might put my parents at risk.